guys. Uh, sorry, really dark. I just had this thought. Do you guys think that car makers should have a holistic family design language? Do you think that, say for example, uh, we're, we're all very familiar with Audi's design language, BMW's design language, and... Uh, Mercedes-Benz, right? Uh, almost every established brand now, they have a design language, so to speak. And we see uh, even Mazda, now they have a unified design language, Kodo design, Kodo 2.0, and things like that. I, why, why I'm discussing this, or not, not, not that I'm discussing this, it's more like I'm asking. Do you like car brands like all their models from small to big they stick to one design language because honestly speaking i don't see a point i don't see a point to it because that there's just no need to i'll give you an example uh you have the three series and then you have the four series right but little a lot of people doesn't know that when you take out the uh a headlamp from a 4 series they don't fit on a 3 series they don't they just look roughly the same but it's a totally different shape okay they, they don't fit so to speak it's not that they're trying to cut costs on the front you know and I just felt that um, you look at Toyota you look at sorry I'm gonna turn you around look at the is this an alpha of alpha here <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you just look at it. Toyota, right? They have a small car that looks cute, and then they have a Valfire that looks totally different from the Camry or whatever. And then the Camry doesn't look the same as a Corolla. Just they just designed the car specifically for that target segment, so that it it can look how it looks like. Imagine if the if. Imagine if Mercedes-Benz, when they redesigned the uh, the G wagon, you know they have a they have an all new G wagon, right? Just imagine Mercedes trying to integrate their design language into the G wagon. It doesn't make sense because the G wagon needs to look how it looks like. In fact, I'm so impressed at the launch of the uh, the, the new G wagon that they say that the only thing that that car uh, is remotely similar to the older car is how the door handles is the door handles because they want that feel of pressing it that thing and pulling it they want that feel other than the door handles every single thing on the car is new it's all new but it doesn't look anywhere like any Mercedes out there right because it's supposed to be rugged it's supposed to be squarish and yeah yeah I just don't see a point I mean, why would you want to design all your cars to look the same? There's no actual benefit from it. The the uh, the usual things that makes up a brand's identity, say for example, BMW, they have their kidney grill, they have their the uh, Hofmeister kink, uh, which I can't find the Hofmeister kink in the BMW X2. I couldn't find it at all. And then you see it. Like Audi now is that design looks damn cool and damn futuristic back in 2008, but they're still stuck with it. So now you look at the new Audi, you're like, okay. Then there is family design language. The keyword here is language, okay? There's what I would call family design template. You see, a lot of car makers when they when when they when they embark onto a an all new family design language, right? They they are they are like, okay, this will show what our brand is in the next uh, product life cycle, and then uh, it's gonna be applied across the board. It works beautifully for Mazda when the whole Kodo thingy came out. It worked it worked beautifully for Audi back in two thousand eight. And it works really well for Mercedes-Benz now. Yes, they have an all-new design language. But when
when brands start to templatize it, that means it is no longer a language. What is a language? You look at how the uh, the old Audi A7 and the A8 and the Q7 or Q5, they don't look the same, right? It's not like they have the same headlamp design, same, they don't look the same, but you can tell it's from one family. That is a family design language. And you look at uh, Volvo, the uh, XC90 and the XC40 totally doesn't look alike at all, but you can see the family semblance there. So that to me is a family design language. And what about template? Templatize is when you look at the new uh, CX-5, the all new CX-5, you look at the front, wow, you know the chrome that runs underneath the, the headlamp, you know that. They took this lock stock barrel and grafted it onto the new Mazda 6 that hasn't arrived yet. That to me is templatizing uh, your family design language. That means that there is very, that there are very little differentiation factor. You look at how the C-class front and the E-class front and the C-class back and the E and the S-class back, they almost look identical. So that to me is templatizing it, which I think brands shouldn't templatize their designs. They should have uh, they sh when you have a deep understanding of your family design language you are able to take out the essence of what it is and then you use that essence to design your new car uh, say for example Honda right you look at the Honda City the Honda Civic the uh, CRV they don't look alike but they have a theme going on there and I think that's good even though the, the overall design is a bit yeah but they don't look bad, they don't look bad, but you can tell it's from the same family. Yeah. Is this even a discussion? Oh, yeah, it's a question. Do you think car brands should or should not stick to one design language and yeah, and, and then templatize it? I don't, don't templatize it. I like what, what Toyota is doing now. I really like what they are doing now. Um, the designs look cooler and cooler and um, they just look different all of them look different and I think that is really really good yeah cheers